Today, it's time to put theory into practice. I'm Darius, and this is Welding Techniques in Action. So, are you ready to tackle MIG welding? First, set up your machine properly. Ensure voltage and wire feed speed match the material's thickness. Connect the torch and straighten out before feeding the wire. Some other useful tips include, maintain a 10 to 20 millimeter distance between the contact tip and workpiece. Hold the gun at a 10 to 15 degree angle for penetration control. For thin materials, use overlapping spot welds to prevent warping. It's also helpful to understand basic troubleshooting. If you encounter porosity, clean the material, check gas flow, and watch for drafts. If you struggle with splatter, reduce wire feed speed, adjust voltage settings, and check for the correct contact tip size. For burn through, the solution is to lower the voltage or wire feed speed, or consider trying stick welding. Now, TIG welding. To prepare the tungsten, grind it to a fine point for thin metal or blunt end for aluminium or thicker metals. You should also keep in mind that melting the base of thin metals together without adding filler can cause distortion. Another trick is adjusting the flow rate to adequately protect the weld area without causing turbulence. Set your flow meter to 10 liters per minute for a clean weld. And what about TIG troubleshooting? If the tungsten touches the pool, it's contaminated. Stop, grind off and start again. If you experience cracking, check that the material is clean, preheat if necessary and make sure you're using the correct filler material. If you encounter arc wonder, check that the tungsten is ground correctly and that there's no dirt or oil on the piece. Last but not least, let's tackle MMA welding. Your welding angle matters. Aim for a 15 degree angle for a narrow deep pull. Short arcs prevent splatter and ensure penetration. Whereas a straight back and forth motion called the stringer bead technique will give you a controlled and even weld bead. You can even try a slight whipping motion for deeper penetration on thicker materials. Now, some common MMA challenges. For sticking electrodes, increase the current or a quick snapping motion to strike the arc without sticking. Whereas for arc blow, keep the cable straight, shorten the arc or weld from another direction to counter magnetic fields. For slag incursions, maintain a proper arc length and angle, chipping away at the slag between the passes. Once you have the solution, the challenge doesn't seem as big anymore. Press play on the next video in this series for more about maintaining and storing your equipment.